guys and welcome to my recent favorites video. I'm going to show you some of the things that I've just been obsessed with lately, um, whether it be like makeup, fashion and beauty. Let's just get into it. A couple of months ago in Melbourne I got my hair done and so I dyed it quite a lot lighter. Some products that have completely saved my hair and saved the color of it are these ones from Matrix. The Brass Off Total Results Color Obsessed Conditioner and Shampoo. I don't know when I got these, I just found them. There's a heap of products that I left behind um, while I was traveling. They were in there and they have just been safe, like they've been the best thing for my hair since I've got it done. I'd completely recommend if you have dyed blonde hair. It's really gentle and it saves the color because it's like purple shampoo and conditioner. The next thing which is hair related is my GHD Curve Curler. Oh my gosh, so I have had this for the last year and a half and I just haven't touched it. I don't know what it was, maybe between traveling and just moving around so much I completely forgot I had it. And I found it in my drawer yesterday and it has been the best thing ever since yesterday. Um, but it makes the nicest curls as you can see today I used it to do my hair and it just cuts down the curling time to I honestly did this in about five minutes versus using my other one that was $20 and it takes me honestly probably about an hour to do my hair properly. One of my goals in 2018 is to just treat myself more often. I always have these nice products but I never get around to using them and one of them is my tanning products. So. The other day I've tried this Bondi Sand Self Tanning Foam in Dark and this stuff is so good. The colour comes out like really natural but really tanned and that's exactly what I want from a self tanner. I'm too lazy to match my foundation to my body and no matter what I'm just not good enough at makeup to actually get it right so I have to tan my face as well. And so I use this Eco Tan Face Tan Water and this stuff is so nice. It's like a water consistency, um, but it goes on really evenly and it just gives your face kind of like a nice glow. And even if you didn't fake tan your body, I think you could use this just to, um, yeah, give yourself a nice glow. So next, uh, I'll go on to the beauty products. I've only just started using this the last couple of days because I actually got this sent to my auntie's place in Auckland and I haven't been able to get it from her until last week. So it's the Infallible Total Cover Pro Long Wear Concealer and it's a palette and it's got all sorts of different colors. It's got like a, a light, medium, a darker, purple and a green. I ran out of my normal concealer and I just have been using this for everything from like blemishes to under my eyes. And it's really nice because no matter what kind of tanning stage I'm in, you can match it to your skin tone. So I definitely think this is worth the hype. And the next one is my Lancome Stick Foundation. I'm not entirely sure what the full name of it is, so I'll link it down below for you. But it's just a stick foundation, and honestly, it takes you no time to blend it all. It's just like a couple of swipes, and you're ready to go. I've also kept this in my bag in case I need touch-ups during the day, because it's just so easy. You can just apply it with your fingers. Next, I've got a mascara, and I'm one of those people that like hoards mascaras. I just keep them forever, like way past when you probably should keep them. Um, so I was really glad to get to try this one out. And it's the Monsieur Big Lancome Mascara. And this stuff is so good. It makes your eyelashes just really big and black. It doesn't take a lot to take it off at the end of the day, which is a big plus for me because I hate when you can't get it off at night. The next product I have is one I actually got given by a friend in Sydney way back last year, but I've kept it in my purse and it's just one of those ones that I always reach for. It's this YSL lipstick, but it's like a lip gloss. Just this really pretty pink shade and it goes on as a gloss, kind of a stain look. So. It's really easy to apply on the go. It's just one of those products that if you need a bit of color on your face that it's the easiest thing to reach for and to keep with you. And the packaging is like five stars. The last makeup product I'm gonna mention is one from Bobbi Brown and it's the highlighting powder in Moon Glow. For starters, this packaging is ridiculous, um, but the actual color of the highlighter is gorgeous. It's this real intense golden glow, and this is the prettiest highlighter for a night out. 
So I'll move on to the kind of skincare favourites I've got. And the first product I have is this cleansing balm from L'Occitane. It's the Immortal Divine something. It's in French so I'm not even going to try but um, it is the nicest cleansing balm. You just take a little pea size amount and massage it into your face before you cleanse at night. It's really good for getting stubborn mascara off so definitely recommend this if you are looking to try a cleansing balm. This one's really good. The next product I have is a Kiehl's face mask. I've been seeing this face mask everywhere so I was really happy to be able to try it out and it's the cilantro and orange extract pollutant defending mask. What I really like about this one is it's really moisturizing and you can leave it on your skin so you don't need to wash it off afterwards and I really like using it just when my skin's feeling a little bit dull or it's a little bit dry from moving around a lot. Um, and the last skincare beauty product I have is a fragrance from Jo Malone and like let me start by telling you that I'm so particular about the fragrances I use I'm really hypersensitive to smell so if I have a perfume that I don't like on me I physically start feeling sick which sounds so dramatic so I don't often wear them and I'm really picky when it comes to choosing fragrances but this one is so nice it's the Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt Cologne and I've got a mini, it's kind of like a unisex smell, it's not really sweet, it's kind of like, oh I can't describe it, but it's just the nicest fragrance and it's not too overpowering and I really like the size of the bottle because I never get through perfumes because I don't wear them that often. So it's nice to be able to take this around with me wherever I go. <sighs> My next favourite are a pair of shoes that I'm obsessed with. So they are these Solsana kind of woven mules. These are just the nicest shoes. They're kind of vintage-esque and I just think they're the prettiest thing. They're super comfortable because the woven material is really soft. My next new favourite is this spray. I actually got this in the mail yesterday and I've just been obsessed. I, I can never put them on right, like it honestly takes me so long to figure out how to wear these but I just love them, I've seen them everywhere on Instagram and it was super cheap so I thought I'd get on the bandwagon and give it a go and I really like it, I think it's quite cool, so ah, it's my new favourite. My next favourite is this polka dotted top that I'm obsessed with too. I've just really been into anything vintage-y looking, so this is this top from ASOS. I actually got it quite a while ago and I've been meaning to shoot something in it but I love it. It's just the cutest little pattern, um, the kind of cut of it. I think it's called the 40s top but I love polka dots at the moment. Anything polka dotted, I'm just like all about it. And my last favourite is a pair of pants. These are the most flattering fit I've ever encountered in pants and the only problem I have with them is they're super long. I don't understand how you need to wear them because I end up standing on the bottoms of them. But these are just the coolest pants. You've probably seen IMG everywhere on Instagram. But these are the striped kind of wide leg pants from them. I'm not sure what the style is called, but oh, these are the coolest things ever. I just love, they look so flattering with a crop top or just a t-shirt and tied in a knot. It's just they're the coolest pair of pants and they're actually pretty thick so I feel like I'll get a lot of wear out of these in winter as well. Okay guys well that's it for all of my recent favourites so I hope you enjoyed. If you have any requests leave them below. Don't forget to subscribe and to like this video. Uh, gives me a lot of motivation to make more. I really enjoy actually putting these together for you so um, I want to keep doing it. So I hope you enjoyed and have a good day and I'll see you later. Bye!